All right, we're gonna get started. So welcome everyone. I wanna say thank you to all of you for coming out today for the dedication of our first uh, basic level ambulance service, which is town owned and run by members of the Hadley Fire Department that you have here with me today. Uh, this is a historic date for the town of Hadley and our department and our community as we continue our phased approach to staffing and response to emergencies in our community. It has been a goal and objective of mine since I started as the first full-timer in 2005, and along with the help of a lot of folks here today, and we'll go into that shortly, but uh, just to thank you for the support in that and the building out of this basic level ambulance service. Um, I'd like to thank our regional, state, and local partners also for supporting us in this. And we look forward to serving the town of Hadley and providing additional speedy and excellent response to medical emergencies in our community, all parts of our community. Uh, Dan Carey was gonna be here with us today. I just wanted to say thank you to him and Senator Comerford. They both send their best of luck to us and congratulations. Uh, I'd like to welcome our town administrator, Carolyn Brennan, members of our select board. We have Molly Keegan and Joyce Chunglow. Uh, special thank you to Joyce Chunglo, who will be saying a couple words, but I just wanted to say that Joyce has been a part of this ambulance process for over 20 years. She's been on every ambulance study committee uh, that we've had and has been, it's been one of her passions to, to this point, to what you're seeing now with us coming out of this station with an ambulance. Amy Feiden is here with us today, also another member of our ambulance study committee. Special thank you to Barb O'Connor, who's not here with us today, but has, has been a part since the beginning. Uh, and also Chief Bill Swartvager, uh, he's also a member. And we have some new members as well that'll be joining us soon. Uh, Walt Jennings and, and also uh, Sue Glowatsky will be assisting on our Ambulance Oversight Committee. So thank you to all of them. I have a special thank you too to my support staff. So we have retired Assistant Chief and Chief Myron Chudzik here today, uh, John Ingram, uh, the Chief of Belchertown, uh, also a member of the Amherst Fire Department. Uh, Matthew Langberg is here representing Chief Peelis from the city of Northampton. We have the Chief of Pelham and also a member of the Northampton Fire Department, Chief Nazaro, and a very special person to me Chief Russ Anderson retired from Southwick, who's been my sounding board and my support uh, throughout my many years of uh, this going into fruition. So thank you to all of you for being here. Um, just so you're aware, this ambulance is going to be starting out uh, basically during the daytime hours from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. It'll be running with our full-time crew for second calls. We have our Action Med 1 which our town contracts with that will still be our primary ALS ambulance service to all calls. However, if there is a second call for service, we will be responding to that during those daytime hours. The intent is to continue with our phased approach, continue to make sure that our foundation is built strong and that we're gonna be providing the best possible resources to our community uh, and in response. So that's the plan for this time. Um, I would like to welcome up Joyce Chunglo. She wanted to say a couple words and then we'll get into the blessing. Thank you, Mike. Uh, this day has been really quite awesome for me to see this actually happen. Um, something to come to fruition after 21 years on the select board. Uh, Mike has done a fabulous job. His crew has done an outstanding job. Um, Thank you to Northampton for allowing us to buy their ambulance and to my firefighters and help that refurbish this ambulance. Wait until you see it. They did an awesome, awesome job. So just thank you to everybody and to our town people that supported this. Um, this is all for your public safety. So we really appreciate what you've done for us and keep supporting this department because it can only get better if you can imagine that. So thank you everybody. So just to follow up, just a special thank you to all these folks here. This ambulance wouldn't be driving out the door without them. So we're talking hundreds of hours by hand, sanding down so that we would be saving the cost of having to 
ship it out and have it pro professionally done and you'll certainly see the detail on it. Um, I can't thank, special thank you to my Deputy Chief Evan Bryant who's had to listen to me complain continuously and then all of our rock stars but especially my two captains Nick McKenna and Brian Washkevitz and our new, some of, we have a lot of newcomers here today so I hope you introduce yourselves and say hello but also a special thank you to our paramedic uh, EMS coordinator Dave Spafford for all his work. I can't tell you the amount of time it takes. I'm sure some of you chiefs can attest to how long it takes to get your licenses through the state. We're also very excited today because we will very shortly be starting our own dispatching. We have our dispatcher supervisor here, Megan Cahill, and one of our very special dispatchers, Henry Bai, um, who's been here forever and will, is, has decided to stay on with us because he'd like to see how this all works. And we're excited for that next transition as well. Uh, and again, thank you to Mike Wonker, the owner of Action EMS, uh, for supporting us in this transition as well. They, they've been more than accommodating for, uh, for, for us getting going. So without further ado, uh, we'd like to uh, introduce Town of Hadley's first BLS ambulance. It's gonna be Hadley A1. So to close out our, our event today, we would like to ask Father Bill, uh, to, he's gonna come over and in fire department tradition, we'd like to bless our new A1. He's offered to come out with us uh, from the Holy Redeemer Church, Most Holy Redeemer Church here in Hadley. And then the ambulance will be open for all of you to take a look. And again, we really appreciate your, you coming out today. Good morning, everyone. Just a delight for me to be here. I've been involved in public safety chaplaincy for the past uh, 42 years. And it was because 43 years ago, as a new priest up in Pittsfield, I got hit broadside at an intersection. And if it wasn't for the men and women of the Pittsfield Fire and Police Departments, I would not be standing here with you today. Uh, it was their life-saving efforts that kept me going. I was laid up for six months. And uh, to have something like this in town is one of the greatest gifts uh, that we could give to the populace. And I've dedicated part of my ministry to public safety and keeping these good men and women on the job because it's their experience uh, that helps us in times of tragedy and in need. Uh, and they go where we dare not. And when everyone else is running away, they're running toward. And so whatever we can do to support them, to help them, uh, to assist them in their duties, uh, that's what I want to do. And I know that's why all of you are here as well. And uh, I've been here in residence in, in Hadley for the past four and a half years on kind of a medical leave. I'm technically the director of worship for the Diocese of Springfield. Uh, I've had some back issues and I'm four weeks out from a hip replacement. So. Um, after it all, all the residue from the accident. And uh, when I go back to God, he's not gonna recognize me because I'm all replacement parts. But uh, I'm delighted to be here with you this morning uh, and to ask his blessing upon this vehicle and the men and women who serve it. Almighty God, we thank you for the privilege of caring for those who are in danger, sick or injured. In particular, we thank you for the commitment and dedication of past and present members of our department who have spent their lives in helping others. May all firefighters and officers be blessed in their caring ministry and be given the skills and dedication to carry out their difficult work. We pray that they will be protected from harm and show in their attitude love, compassion, and healing. And so we pray, blessed are you, Lord God of mercy, who through your Son gave us a marvelous example of charity and the great commandment of love for one another. 
Send down your blessing on these your servants who so generously devote themselves to helping others. And when they are called on in times of need, let them faithfully serve you and their neighbor. We ask you to bless this ambulance dedicated to the transport of those injured, ill, and suffering. Protect by your almighty hand all who use this vehicle to help their sisters and brothers in their need. And we ask all this in your holy name. In the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus the Christ, in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It is done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you again for coming out today with us. I see Rep. Carey has showed up to join us today. Glad to have you here with us. And again, we have some light for refreshments inside the station. And again, feel free to check out your, your new Hadley A1. And thank you again. <laughs>